Hi, welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to talk about being alone and the fear that is associated with being alone. The loneliness that you feel despite being in a group of people, despite being a highly soci sociable or social person, that loneliness, that's what we're going to discuss about today. The number one thing that you need to realize is you're never going to find yourself. You're never going to find the truth about you and you're never going to be self-aware and aware of the reason and the purpose why you are here, why you are sent here, if you never spend time alone by yourself. If you're constantly distracted by either your phone, you know, some, some, some meaningless pleasure or entertainment, you know, cheap ass entertainment, or maybe you just spend all of your time outside um, for no purpose, you know, just wasting time, killing time with other friends who want to kill time, doing nothing, doing some meaningless bullshit, then you're never going to find yourself. You're never going to find anything good. And you will always be afraid of being alone. You will always be scared of that loneliness. The loneliness will just never go away. In order to eliminate and overcome that loneliness, we have to be able to feel it for years. And you have to be alone and face that loneliness and over to be able to overcome it you have to be alone working you on yourself you have to know yourself you have to find the god within you have to find yourself within you have to find the reason why you're here and start working on that and i realize like a lot of us are afraid of being alone because then you're forced to to look at to look at your inadequacies and 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 witness the darkness within with your naked eyes and you're scared to be in that reality of life and so you want to distract yourself from it and so you constantly you know surround yourself with someone you know guys you have to be alone if you want to change yourself if you want to become better if you want to improve yourself you have to be alone because you lose your individuality, you lose your identity when you're in a group, when you're in a part of the group. You're not able to be self-aware and you're not able to stand for something good, you know, unless everyone in that group um, supports that prospect, that good prospect that you have for yourself or some meaningful purpose, um, you know, you can't stand for anything. You're, no, you're nobody. If you want to become somebody, which is what is inside, the soul is already there. You just have to do the work and become it, right? Like manifest who you really are. That's what your purpose is. You just have to know who you really are, why you are sent here, and you will find it inside you. And if you're constantly surrounded with other, a lot of people, then you're constantly distracted from that inner voice. If it is too loud outside, you can't hear the voice within, the voice inside. And it is truly important to have a meeting every single day with that voice inside, that's that voice within. The most important meeting, okay? Like, there is nothing more important than being in touch with that conscience all the time. If you lose touch with that conscience and you're in darkness and hell, there is no hope for you because who is going to save you that voice is what saves you every single time when you're when you're dark when you're in darkness basically in a catastrophe in in a storm that's when the voice will guide you but if you're in, not in touch with that voice then you're probably not even a good person because being in touch with that soul and complying to whatever orders that it gives you is a sign that you are a good human being because you're constantly sticking and choosing the good and taking action on the good right anything outside of it do, that is done for fun and entertainment and something meaningless and expedient is considered evil because it's not gonna bring any good to you or to other people around you so you have to be in touch with yourself become self-aware and at first at the, at the beginning it's it's hard 
it's, it's painful, the, the loneliness is just too much. But once you get used to it, you realize that what loneliness does to you is it gives a strength to loneliness. If you watch that movie, Gods of Egypt, you will realize there is such a thing called the strength loneliness gives you. The strength of loneliness. It's a strength. Being alone is a strength. Not everyone is capable of doing it. Being able to be alone and function excellently, thrive in it, you know, thrive in that loneliness is, is a gift that you can give yourself. If you teach yourself that, then you don't have to be with someone just because you're afraid of being alone. Then you can be with really great people, you know, they're like you, you know, constantly willing to work on them and improve themselves. And they're not just being with you because they're afraid of being alone. They just want to be with someone, you know, and doing something and distracted from inner loneliness. No, then there will be a real connection with courage. Then there will be real relationships and real love. But first you have to be alone to know yourself and to overcome it and stick to it and become a better human being, a stronger human being that stands for something. And it takes months and months and months and years of spending time alone in the darkness, in the room by yourself, and doing a lot of the work to really manifest who you really are. And once you're aligned with that soul, there is no such thing as loneliness. You have already overcome it. It takes being alone with courage and facing it every single day until you overcome it. And it's not gonna be in like a week or a month or in a year. It's going to take time, probably a lifetime to overcome this loneliness. If you ever observe people, you will find the most social people who have hundreds of friends and great relationship partners, they still have loneliness inside them and they still have to do something else to, you know, to distract themselves from that loneliness because they don't know how to overcome it. It's not anything external or any one external that you need to overcome and heal that loneliness. Because it will always be there until you choose to overcome it and face it, you know, and conquer it. Alright guys, that's all I had for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them in the days and weeks ahead. Alright, thank you so much.